What is up, you guys? It is uh, me again. Um, it is. I am super sleepy. I am laying in my bed, which is downstairs on my couch, because uh, sorry, I have a um, nose itch on the inside of my nostril. Sorry, you guys had to see that, but um, because of the fan, I don't have a fan upstairs, so um. Check out my cat shirt. Got a Walmart. Says Meowy Christmas. Um. Anyways. Um. The fan is downstairs. And it's cold. Colder downstairs. So. Um. So. Yeah. There's that. Um. And I don't have one upstairs. So. It's. Um. It's hot upstairs. And I like it really cold. In order to get to sleep. Um. So. Um. So yeah. I can't sleep without like the fan going or whatever. And there's no fan upstairs. Anyway. Sorry. I'm repeating my heat. I'm getting really sleepy. I haven't slept since like. Four in the afternoon yesterday. Five. Four or five in the afternoon. Yesterday. And now it's like. 8.30 in the morning. Um, so, um, it's Thanksgiving today. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I hope you guys are thankful to God for all the blessings that he's ever given you. It's a very important day for you guys to all be thankful for what you have. Breath. Blessings. God in your life. Salvation. Um, so, I'm thankful to God. What am I thankful for? I'll name it. Uh, sorry. I'm, I'm like yawning without yawning. True. <laughs> Sorry. Again, I'm really, really sleepy. Uh, sorry, I had a piece of hair in my mouth. Um, anyways, I'm very thankful to God for all the blessings that He's ever given me. For all the times that he saved my life when I've, I could have died by drinking myself to death by, uh, recreational use, drinking, getting drunk, um, I'll name some stuff I did back then that was really stupid. January of 2016, it took five hours, but I drank a bottle of of a 750, yes, you heard that right, 750 ml bottle of vodka and margaritas. It took like 20 margaritas or so, and it took like five hours to drink it all. Um, and I weighed a lot back then, so I was like 212, 215 pounds. So, um, my body could handle a huge amount of alcohol, but that alone right there should have killed me, but God kept me alive. Oh, and then, um, later on in that year, I drank a bottle of, I tried to get it drunk off of a, uh, A bottle of tequila and I wasn't feeling so these hard liquors right when you're drinking hard alcohol trying to get drunk off of them it's not like wine when you're starting to get drunk you can feel yourself getting buzzed but when you're drunk off of like the strong liquor like vodka and stuff like the hard like pure alcohol not like wine but pure alcohol like vodka and crap um 
you don't feel anything at all. You don't feel like you're drunk or anything. You don't, it's like, it's nothing, but you're all screwed up. So it's like, it's not, you're not drunk, but you, it's like you're tripping balls, but you're not, it's not like a drunk feeling. So I was trying to get drunk. I had an alcohol problem back then and I was trying to get drunk off of a bottle of tequila same with the vodka earlier in the year. Um, but, um, and I drank the whole bottle of 750 ml of tequila as well. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, then times I drank four bottles of 750 ml um, bottles of Pinot Grigio white wine in one night. Yes, you heard that right. I drank four 750 ml bottles of Pinot Grigio bottles in one night before. And then I've drank in three bottles of those. Back then, um, year, years ago when I weighed like 212, 215, three, I, I drank three three 750 ml Pinot Grigio bottles of white wine like for like three nights in a row. I bought eight one time and they were all gone in like less than a week. Like all of them were gone in like less than a week. Um, so yeah, there's that alcohol. Um, and I've done that like multiple, multiple upon multiple times. So I'm thankful for God that he has kept me alive when I should have drank myself to death right there. Um, also the times I've done Benadryl. Now, you guys might have heard that people have done stupid crap like Benadryl. It's, um, it's sleep aid. It's, um... You could get it at the grocery store. It's just in the medicine department. It's just sitting there on the shelf next to Tylenol and NyQuil and crap. It's called Benadryl. It's sleep aid. And I used to take the whole box all at once. And it just, it's it like screws you up like so bad. Like, like it's crazily terrifying stuff. So, um, and... I could have easily died off of that, too. But I've done that, like, several, several times in my life as well. Um, the trip or high or whatever you want, tripping ball sack or whatever you want to call it, lasts for, like, four to five hours nonstop. Regret it every single second until it's over. Um, so there's that. Um, I'm, I'm glad that God kept me alive through that as well. Um, one time I took, I just, again, this, this is even after I got saved. So I went into sin even after getting saved. Um, and one time I actually just kept popping Benadryl in my mouth. I, you can actually get addicted to Benadryl, and I was getting addicted to Benadryl, so I was just, I wanted to trip, um, get high on Benadryl, and I just kept popping Benadryl in my mouth, and I lost track, and then I remember how many I, uh, popped in my mouth, and then I equaled it all up, and it turned out, it was like 56, and took 56 Benadryl, and I was like, I'm dead. I was like, I'm dead. But, no, the the only thing that happened right there is I lost my memory of, of, uh, of some stuff I can't even remember to this day. And that was July of 2015, I think. Um... Again, I didn't lose the memory of that entire day, but of some stuff that I can't remember. So I remember me doing it. I remember 
the day that I did it. Um, or the month I did it. Um, uh, let's see here. June or July of 2014, I drank, I got drunk off of a bottle of Pinot Grigio white wine, 750 ml. Oh, and A, this was be months before, several months before I got saved. I got saved September 6, 2014. And... I also weighed a lot less than 212. I was like 203 maybe. I could still fit a large back then. Um, like right now, I can fit, fit a large too. Um, but because um, I lost all the weight since a few years ago when I was 212, 215. Last year, I, I spent all year losing weight. So I got down to like a large. Um, so, um, anyways, I got drunk off of a 750 ml bottle of Pinot Grigio white wine in June or July of 2014, one of those, and when I was drunk, I took a box of Benadryl. The effects that the Benadryl has when you just take the box along with no wine or alcohol or anything at all except for just the Benadryl weren't there. The effects didn't come. But let me tell you, I it like anything I did like seconds later my memory was just like erased. The only thing that I can uh remember still to this day is I saw a pair of my shoes in my living room of my apartment back then. I'm living in a townhouse now. Um but my shoes were in my living room. And then a second later, they were in my bedroom. I was sitting in the exact same spot as I saw them in my living room. And then like a second or two later, they were in my bedroom with me. Weird as crap, right? Obviously, I moved them there, but I don't, I, I don't have any memory of moving them, but I just remember still, um, seeing them in my living room, and then, um, they they were, like, in my bedroom with me, like, seconds later, um, and the other thing, the only other thing that I can remember doing, um, from the entire day, besides taking the, uh, the Benadryl with the wine, was, I had an, uh, back then I had two iPhones, and the other iPhone, I never went, a I never even went an hour, basically, or maybe just a few hours without using it, and after this night, after I did this Benadryl with the wine, I didn't think of that phone for an entire week. Not one thought. I had no memory of that phone. At all. And then a week later came by and I was like, where the hell is my other phone at? And then I I lost it. It was, it was gone. You know where it was? It's like I hid it from myself. It was in a hole in my couch back then. In another couch that was falling apart, not this couch. But, yeah, there's that. And then years before 2014, like, I did Benadryl even more. Um, 2011, when my dog died, I took 30, 35 Benadryl at once. And, um, and I'm still alive. So, I, I have liver damage, yeah, from all the drinking and Benadryl and stuff, but, I mean, God's keeping me alive for a higher purpose, and I already know what that purpose is, it's, it's for me and all Christians, which is to preach the word of salvation to people, to get people saved, he wants to keep me alive because there's people in my life that I probably have to later on that will eventually 
or maybe the people in my life now that he wants me to bring to Christ. Um, so yeah, that's why, because he can't have me dying, um, because saving, getting somebody to come to salvation is much, much more vital. So he's keeping me alive for a very, very good reason. Um, and I wasn't even trying to kill myself or anything back then. I was just trying to get high in recreational use and stuff. Um, and, and I used to take like 16 to 20 clonazepam, anxiety pills, prescriptions. And that could, uh, that right there could kill you too. But I'm still, it's like I'm an immortal or something like that. But the Bible obviously says nobody's immortal except for God. Or those who are in heaven with God. Um, so, there's those things. Um, sorry I got into some grave detail, but I just want to add some detail for you guys to know why I'm thankful to God that I'm uh, here, that I'm alive and stuff. Just to give you guys more of an ideal of how important it is to be thankful to God for what you have and for what he saved you from. I know a lot of you people here watching this is um has almost died before, but God saved your life. And I am getting so sleepy. Look at my eyes. I'm like I can barely stay awake. But um No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. I wasn't really sleeping. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this right now are, in fact, um, survivors of something that God saved your lives of. Um, so, there's that. Just thank God for, on this day, for what he's done for you or your loved ones, um, and just, like, show extra love to him, like, by thanking him for saving your soul from hell for all eternity, um, giving you a good home, loving families, like, I'm adopted, me and my bro are adopted, and, um, I could have been adopted into a family that was abusive, that could have uh, abused me and my bro, like, verbally and physically, or, like, uh, emotionally and physically, like, attacked us, like, hit us, but no, I'm, I was adopted into a very loving family who bought me a house, who helped my bro buy him a house, um, so, yeah, I mean, I've, <laughs> If that's not a loving family, then what is, right? As they say. Um, so, yeah, on this day, just make sure to thank God for all the stuff that he's done for you in your life. That's why this day is called Thanksgiving. Or, if you want to say it backwards, giving thanks. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And... Um, Comment below, like, thank you, Zach, for all the details you've given this video and stuff like that, and, um, you don't have to say in the comments what you don't want to say, like, like, if you don't want to share your guys' um, incidences that God saved your life or, um, from, you don't have to, but you can, in fact, say something in the comments below what you're thankful for God doing in your life. Like, what has God done in your life that you're thankful for Him doing? So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will talk to you later.